Kids Care of Ireland students. Welcome to my basement. And actually, this is going to be considered our online virtual violin classroom for the next couple of weeks. So we're gonna continue learning. We're gonna continue making progress right here in our virtual violin classroom. I'm really excited. So I wanna say hi to all of my violinists, Anders, Poppy, Liam, and Jack. Hi guys. Um, I have some practice charts for you guys. So the first thing I wanna tell you is I made a practice chart for Anders, for Poppy, for Liam, and for Jack. And the way that you get stickers added to your chart is you make a video of you practicing at home and you could post it to the home run page by just clicking the plus sign at the bottom of your home room app um, and you could post from there. Post a video and every video that I see I'll add a sticker to your sticker chart and for every sticker that you get you'll get a ticket in class when I see you again which I can't wait to see you guys again. So let's get started. We're gonna play a game, the A major scale game. I already have us on our start spot right here with our little push pin at our start spot. What's the first thing that we always do in violin class? That's right, we play Mississippi Stop Stop to A major scale. So we're gonna do that same thing right now. We're gonna start our Mississippi Stop Stop, A major scale. Let's get your violins out. At any point, you can pause the video if you want to practice something a little bit more. You can rewind, um, you can play it by yourself, and then you can resume the video from there. So we're going to start with Mississippi Stop Stop. After Mississippi Stop Stop, we're going to do right whole notes, and then, that's right, half notes, and then we're going to roll our dice to see how many times we're going to play quarter notes. And then we're done with our warm-ups. So let's start with Mississippi Stop Stop. Let's get your violins in playing position. Check your bow hold. Make sure you have fingers hanging all the way over the edge, pinkies on top, bent thumbs. Make sure your violin is all the way over your shoulder. Anders, you've been doing a really good job getting your violin over your shoulder. I think you're going to do an awesome job right now making sure your violin is over your shoulder. Let's start with our bow at our bottom sticker on our bow and listen first. Don't play yet. Listen and Get ready for your cue, like always. Ready, play now. Good. Now two fingers down for C sharp, good. Three fingers down for D. Now E. Good. Mississippi stop stop. We have three more spots to go. Let's do whole notes. So where do we start our, on our bow when we play whole notes? Do we start in the middle of our bow or close to the frog? Yes, we start close to the frog because we need our whole bow to play whole notes, right? So get your bow set close to your frog and get ready to play. And how many beats are we going to count for whole notes? One beat? Two beats? Three beats? You tell me. Yes, it's four beats. Okay, get ready for four beats. Whole notes. Red, oh, listen first, sorry. Listen first. <laughs> Four, 
awesome job. If you want to keep practicing that, feel free to pause and you can play whole notes by yourself. All right, we got whole notes down. Our next spot that we got to get to is half notes. How many beats are in a half note? Did you guess it, Anders? Did you guess it, Jack? Did you guess it, Poppy? Did you guess it, Leah? It's two. Two beats in a half note. So we're just going to count. One, two, get ready to see two. Ready now. A two, B two, C two, D two, E two, F two, G two. Now high A, good. half notes. Now I'm going to get a friend of mine to help me roll our dice. We're going to see how many times we should play quarter notes. And my friend Odie here, do you guys know Odie from Garfield? He's Garfield's dog. I've had this little dog in my life for my probably my entire life and that's why it's in my basement with all my stuff I've had for my entire life. And he's going to roll our dice for us. Now Odie rolled one. Do you think we should just play quarter notes one time or should we roll the dice again? I think we should roll the dice again too. So Odie, now is the time to tell Pritzker beginning violinists, Anders, Poppy, Jack, and Liam that Odie is our keyword for today. So not only will you get stickers and tickets if you practice, and upload your practice videos to Homeroom, but you'll also get a bonus ticket if you remember Odie's name. So Odie right here um, will help you get an extra ticket in class when I see you again. If you mention Odie's name, I'll give you an extra ticket. So let's see, Odie, you ready? We're gonna roll the dice, see how many times Liam and Anders and Poppy and Jack will have to play quarter notes. Ready? One, two, three. Let's see if we can roll it. You're not going to be able to see what I roll. Oh, Odie only rolled, rolled one. What's our roll? Got to roll it again. You're right. Because one time is not enough to get better at quarter notes, is it? We got to get good at quarter notes. This time, oh yeah, Odie rolled a five. We're going to do it five times. Because five times is going to make us better at it, right? Quarter notes are really hard. And we've been getting really good at playing quarter notes. We're going to get even better if we play it five times. So listen first and then we'll play together. Four more times. Listen first. Ready, play. Very nice. So, if this is kind of hard for you, I want you to remember, keep your bow moving. Don't worry as much about your fingers. Make sure you can keep your bow moving down, up, down, up, down, up, and then start adding your fingers once you've really got your bow moving at the right speed on the beat. Let's do it together. Ready? One, two, together, play. Great job. We're more than halfway there. We're going to do it two more times together and then we'll have met our goal. So we rolled the dice already so I can't forget to get us where we need to be and we're almost at the end spot. You can do it. Ready? Listen first. One more. 
more time. Can we do it? Can we meet our goal? All right, do it with me. Ready? One, two, together, play. <laughs> position, take a bow. We finished our A major scale game. We got to the very end. Pat yourself on the back. It's time to move on and play all of our twinkles. You can also choose to just play one of the twinkles and pause the video and play it by yourself. Um, and maybe you can get some dice. I'm sure you have some dice at home that you can roll and decide how many times you should play. Um, maybe your hardest, the, the hardest rhythm of twinkle. You can just focus on that, and, um, or you can play all of them, and then go on to lightly grow, which is what we're learning right now.